Okay, let's look at the functional unit of the kidney, which is called the nephron. Now there are two parts to this nephron. Uh, here is the glomerulus and the glomerular capsule, which, uh, let's look at this model, it's a little bit larger. Here is the glomerulus capillary bed and the glomerular capsule. That makes up the renal corpuscle. Those two, renal body, the main body the glomerulus, and the glomerular capsule. Then you can see that the filtrate that's formed here has got a lead, and it's leaving through this vessel here, which is called the proximal convoluted tubule. So when you get back over here, here's the proximal convoluted tubule. Convoluted means twisted. So it's the twisted tubule closest to the glomerulus. So the tubular network consists of the proximal convoluted tubule, the loop of the nephron, and the distal convoluted tubule. So the tubular um, body, the proximal convoluted tubule, loop of the nephron, and the distal convoluted tubule. And there are all these nephrons around here are going to drain into this collecting duct, which goes all the way down. Here's the renal papilla again. I'm renal, sorry, renal uh, pyramid all the way down, it's just called the papillary duct down here, because this is the tip of the pyramid called the renal papilla, and the urine is going to come out the tip here. Well, remember there's a calyx that surrounds this. Calyx is going to be uh, capturing the urine and channeling it into the renal pelvis.